characters from the Force Unleashed games are some of the most popular characters in Star Wars video games. And you might not have known this, but you can play as lots of them in Battlefront 2 with the use of mods, of course. The amazing capabilities of Battlefront 2 modding. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> and today we're going to take a look at every single Force Unleashed mod I could find for Battlefront 2. And I'll be ranking the top 10 mods. Some of these are Starkiller mods, appearances, and new detailed characters with unique abilities that have been added to the game. But first, today's video is sponsored by Vite Ramen, the people who've been making my lunch for a while now. You might have heard me talk about these guys before. They make tasty, fast, easy to make ramen noodles, which are actually healthy and nutritious. Yes, I've actually tried them. Yes, they're actually good. And yes, this is a Star Wars channel sponsored by a ramen company. Welcome to 2020. I love their vegan flavor. If I'm busy working on stuff and need a quick meal, I usually make a bowl of this in five minutes. They also also pay all their employees a living wage which is great and I was happy when these guys got in touch with me they're also Battlefront fans so they're supporting the channel if you want to try their noodles you can get 10% off with the code bombastic and there's a link in the description all right let's do this top 10 force unleashed mods coming in at 10th place is Somi Starkiller this mod replaces Kylo Ren's first appearance and comes in 10th place because it's not the best Starkiller mod out there face doesn't really look like Starkillers and he holds his lightsaber the wrong way around. However, it is an older mod and is still great to play with, but doesn't necessarily feel like Starkiller. It keeps all of Kylo Ren's regular abilities, so it just feels like you're playing with a shaved Kylo in some ways, but that's okay. The appearance is based on Starkiller's appearance in the original Force Unleashed game. This is actually what he's wearing on the cover. Ninth place goes to the light side Starkiller mod created by the Blue Jedi. This mod replaces Luke Skywalker and is inspired by Galen Marrick when he rejects his identity as Starkiller and returns to the light. Like the previous mod, this one also keeps all of Luke's regular abilities and even though these are Starkiller's Jedi robes, it kind of just feels like Luke running around in a different outfit. Also, his lightsaber isn't upside down, so it doesn't really play like Starkiller but it's still cool. Always cool to see these cosmetic mods added to the game. Eighth place goes to the Dark Side Starkiller mod created by the Red Sith. Wait, this mod was created by the Red Sith and the last one was by the Blue Jedi. Must be friends. This mod also replaces Kylo Ren but gives Starkiller Luke's face, although with a change in appearance, the eyes, the shaved hair. This is basically what Darth Luke Skywalker looks like. And I guess the evil name for his Skywalker is Starkiller. So in a way, this mod is quite fitting. Starkiller also has all of Kylo's abilities and his lightsaber is the right way around, which isn't accurate to Starkiller who holds his lightsaber the wrong way around. But Kylo's lightsaber technique does implement the upside down saber, so it's more accurate than using Luke's fighting style. Also, unfortunately, both this mod and the light side Starkiller mod don't seem to work anymore with Battlefront 2's latest updates, so you'll just have to enjoy the footage of them here. In seventh place, we have our first non-Starkiller mod the Stormtrooper Commanders, as seen in the Force Unleashed games. Now, there are two separate mods for these commanders, one by Orthohex and one by Degiel Nox. Degiel? Degiel. Degiel. And one by Degiel Nox. I didn't think it was fair to rank one better than the other, seeing as though they're both just slightly different. So here they are, both in eighth place. Orthohex's version replaces the Imperial Officer and Iden Versio with clean armored commanders, identifiable by their blue stripe and decals. And Degiel Nox's version features more battle worn, dirty Stormtrooper commanders, replacing the Assault and Heavy class. It's important to note that Stormtrooper commanders with this armor are part of Star Wars Legends. In fact, nothing that happens in the Force Unleashed games is considered canon anymore. That is since Disney took over Lucasfilm in 2013. Okay, next up, we have another Force Unleashed inspired trooper mod in sixth place, the Evo Troopers. Evo is short for environmental, as these troopers were trained and equipped to survive tough environmental conditions such as heat, acid rivers, and lightning. Don't know where they go and walk in through any acid rivers but all right. This mod was created by Mandalorian Business and they replaced the regular Stormtrooper classes in Battlefront 2 and again, a part of the Star Wars Legends universe. Also, this mod and the previous Trooper mods don't seem to work anymore with Battlefront 2's latest updates, which sucks. That's the sad thing about Battlefront 2 modding. Some of the mods only work with the current version of the game unless the mods are updated along with the game. Anyway, but these guys, I'm pretty sure, can also withstand Force Lightning. It's part of their environmental training, being able to 
be struck by lightning whenever that happens. So force lightning, I'm pretty sure in the game. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure doesn't affect these guys. So that's cool. Just pick them up using the force and chuck them off a cliff instead. And star killer. <laughs> in fifth place, we have a mod that brings the most killed character in Star Wars to Battlefront 2, Shark T. She's died at least four times between her canon Star Wars deaths. Yes, there's two of them in Revenge of the Sith deleted scenes, her death in Lego Star Wars, and her death in The Force Unleashed, where after a duel with Star Killer, she lets herself fall in a Sarlacc pit on Felucia. And this is the Shark T we get to play with in this mod. It's actually a port of her Force Unleashed model into the game with an upscaled retexture, the mod created by Daz Assassin 100 of CND Modworks and Bang 701. Shark T replaces Rey keeping all her abilities but it's cool to see she's got her own custom lightsaber hilt. This is one of those mods that feels like a completely new character in Battlefront 2 just because of her new appearance. Always impressed seeing these ports and custom characters brought into the game and how much it changes the feel of using a hero. Next is a very impressive Starkiller mod in fourth place, Hugen Munen's Inquisitor Starkiller. This version of Starkiller is based on concept art created by the illustrator Daniel de Almeida, showing what Starkiller would look like as one of Palpatine's Inquisitors, tasked with hunting down Jedi after Order 66. Starkiller wields an Imperial style lightsaber and wears the Imperial logo on his armor. He also holds the lightsaber backwards, which plays great. I'm not sure how the animation on this looks so good. I'm assuming it's just using Kylo Ren's regular lightsaber animations, which just work for Starkiller, perhaps? And Hugen Moonen also has another similar Starkiller mod, based on the Dark Lord appearance of Starkiller from the Dark Side ending of The Force Unleashed. And I love both these mods. You can also combine them with audio mods, which give Starkiller some of his actual voice lines, and another mod which alters his abilities. But just the appearance and backward lightsaber alone are enough for me to enjoy this. It, it's great. All right, here we go. The top three Force Unleashed mods. Third place, I'm giving to the Ram Kota mod by Maddie Code. This replaces Luke's Hoth appearance with General Kota, one of the very few Jedi who survived Order 66. And the reason Kota survived is because he didn't trust clone troopers. Instead, he fought in the Clone Wars with his own independent militia, made up of volunteers and soldiers. He and Starkiller cross paths in the Force Unleashed and help each other out. Kota was actually rescued by Starkiller. And even though his lightsaber is supposed to be green and Coda uses all of Luke's abilities, playing with this mod feels like you're playing with an entirely new character. I was personally very impressed with the hair physics, and it looks like the base of this mod was created using pre-existing assets already in Battlefront 2. I'm pretty sure this is the face of one of the rebel soldiers in the game. I think it's quite innovative that pre-existing assets can be used in modding to create an entirely new character. I love this. In second place, we have another mod from Hugen Moonen. This is Darth Desolus, one of the bosses you fight in the Force Unleashed. But it's not the actual Darth Desolus you fight. Desolus was born in the year 3552 BBY before the Battle of Yavin and was killed in a battle with the Jedi Order. However, a simulation of Desolus was made for the Jedi Temple's Trial of Skill program, and it's this version of Desolus, Starkiller Fights. And did you know Darth Desolus was made canon only recently? In the Rise of Skywalker Visual Dictionary, Desolus is of the Powan species, the same species these guys here are on Utapau. And what's so cool about this mod is that it's a complete character overhaul. There are two separate skins for Desolus, one with a cape and one without, and he comes with both custom voice lines and abilities. The version I played with had a saber throw, Palpatine's dark aura ability, and red force lightning, which looks incredible and unique to this character. This is a really really detailed mod. Textures and graphics look great and the character feels completely unique. Go try this one if you get a chance. It's it's really fun. So number one spot on the list, I just have to give to the Starkiller Overhaul mod, created by CND Modworks. There's so much content in this one mod, I even made a dedicated video about it. It comes with four separate Starkiller skins, including his original appearances from both The Force Unleashed 1 and 2, plus a Jedi appearance and his Dark Lord appearance. The mod replaces Kylo Ren, Starkiller holds his lightsaber backwards, and unfortunately the mod crashes every now and then, especially on Star 
startup, which by the way, puts the LucasArts intro into Battlefront 2. But if you don't want it to crash, you might want to skip the intro. Just having the option of playing as four different Starkiller skins in the one mod is awesome. Very easy to use. There's custom star cards and text. The modders have tried their best to bring Starkiller into the game as an entirely new and fully developed character. They achieve their goal. And on top of that, this mod also comes with the Rogue Shadow, Starkiller's personal ship, piloted by the love of his life, Juno Eclipse. You can fly this in the Starfighter game modes. Overall, a very polished, impressive mod, worthy of the top spot. And I've got two more bonus Force Unleashed mods to show you guys. The Coda's Militia mod attempts to let you play as General Coda's soldiers, although it does kind of just look like regular rebels with slightly brighter colors. This is an older mod and doesn't work with the current version of the game, but still cool, still cool. And 2015 Star Wars Battlefront actually had a Force Unleashed mod, the Force Unleashed Stormtrooper, making the game's regular Stormtroopers look like their appearance in the Force Unleashed games with the glowing eyes. Very cool. So which Force Unleashed mod is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And if you like the look of the Starkiller Overhaul mod, the one that took first place, I'd recommend watching my video all about it, where I talk more in depth about the characters, the backstory, and what else is in the mod. Or just, you know, you can go play yourself. There's that too. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Discord for lots more Star Wars stuff. I'd like to keep going back and looking at old Star Wars games so you can find more of that kind of thing on there. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon. <laughs> Stay bombastic.